Okay, Daniela, so here's my feedback. This is first, I'm gonna give you the general fit feedback and then a detailed feedback. So for the general feedback, I'm gonna be using um, these general tips uh, Gar Reynolds gives us on his website, which is of course, uh, of course related to what we were doing in um, uh, during our classes in, in the semester. Um, okay, so uh, number one, you keep it simple, which is really important. You've got your images and you've got your text, so it looks really nice and um, quite professional, by the way. Um, you are not using limit points, but you're using text, but you are using enough text to guide your presentation. Really important, that's a plus. Another thing that you're doing here, you're not using uh, transitions or animation, and that's great. Um, I'm not really a fan of um, animations. I use transitions, but not animations, and not that much. Uh, you're using high-quality graphics. All of them are great, are amazing, and well-chosen. Very smart, Daniela. Um, Another thing that you're doing here, okay, you created your very own theme. You didn't use PowerPoint templates. Another good point here. You're not using charts and you don't have to. Color, I mean, it's really nice the way you're using um, the, the, the images and especially the, the uh, color of the font, uh, really nice. Although I'm going to give you an advice for two of the slides where you added text. You will see later on, but uh, you you really use color well. Um, the the type of font you chose, nice, great. Um, I'm almost certain anybody can uh, read your presentation from any distance. Um, uh, and that's it, basically. My general feedback. Now let's work a little bit on the uh, detailed feedback. I wanted to start this um, detailed feedback by telling you something which has nothing to do with your presentation. It's but maybe it is my computer or something. As you can see, it looks like there is an overlap in here, but that's my computer, I believe. It's it's not um, your presentation. Now, um, to give you my detailed presentation, I'm gonna do the following. Okay, so this is what I want to show you here. This is what I'm going to advise you to do. Uh, the title. I would do something like this. Let me see. Okay, a bit more here. Let me use the arrows here. Okay, so we're going to have the title here, top part of this slide. Something like that. And then this one over here we are going to have it somewhere right here like in the middle of the slide right there and the attribution i would place it somewhere here okay okay something like that uh, and you are going to then type your name somewhere maybe here or here okay Love this slide, great. No comments about, oh, what are they, great. Uh, types of urban legends, good. Other here, social, as you can see, there's a lot of color here, this is white. So it is not very easy to distinguish the S, O, maybe the C, not the C is okay. So this is my advice. Um, let's use something like, let's use a shape, and I'm going to choose this one. Something like this. It doesn't have to, to be this one. Okay, okay. So this one I'm going to do. I want to cut this. And I'm going to place it there maybe. Hmm, we'll see in a minute. And social. So social is going to go right there. And I'm going to do this. And I don't know. I think I'm going to choose uh, maybe this color over here. Something like that. You can choose even a color from the the balls you've got here um, and this what I want to do is to work here mm, okay here and I'm gonna do this maybe like this no not like that <laughs> way too much and uh, hmm. okay let's see okay no 
no, not like that. Okay, let me give it another try. Otherwise, we're gonna choose another color. Um, mm -hmm. There, okay, better. And I don't know, I think I would go and do something like this. This one I wanna choose. Oh, and I'm going to choose this one. See, so it looks a bit better. I'm going to do the following as well. Let me click here again. And, um, okay. So something like that. So um, we can read social better. Maybe this one should be darker, should be a bit darker. Um, let me give it another try. Mm, no, um, this one. And I'm going to choose this color, but maybe uh, less transparent. Yeah, something like that. So we can read social a bit better. That's my advice. Um, what if we use this color with a little bit? Um, okay, this one seems to be better, but... Uh, can be a bit more transparent. Yeah, maybe this one, I don't know. It's You decide which one you would like to choose, but you need something to uh, help the audience read the word social. So it's up to you, but we need something there. Okay, now what else are we gonna do? Let's see here, the social, how, perfect. No comments here. Uh, okay, here it's got nothing to do with the text or the image. It's got to do with grammar because you're asking a question, right? So we need here, what do they have in common? I'm going to highlight it here so you can see it. Well, red, I uh, think red. Oops, what's that? So, um, so what do they have in common, right? Um, why are we afraid? Same, similar to the previous slide, but here you don't need to use a, ch a shape. You need to change the color of the font. So maybe here it's going to be black, and here black again maybe, and here maybe you can use another color. I don't know. I don't know if the no maybe the yellow one or something, and then you can add also something like a shadow. Um, let me see where we were where, where, here, and I would use this one maybe. Yeah, so add in a shadow or something so we can read the text better. And the last comment is, what about reference? Because um, I believe you are reading text or something, so it's a very good idea if you add another slide with your references, where you get this from, right? Okay, so that's it, Daniela. Good job. Now, what you're going to do is to edit a little bit the, the uh, presentation and upload it again or update your presentation in SlideShare.